Hey guys and welcome, welcome to another segment of Browser World and today what we're going to be doing is a quick cartoon drawing of Monica from Friends. So this is our uh, continuing series on how to draw these uh, awesome actors. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the thing, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of with my eyebrows. My eyebrows here, this kind of tells me where I want to put everything at. So I'll just kind of make a little shape here and here. Yep, and then from here I'll go ahead and put my eye shape. So I'll do something like this. I'm gonna use a big, kind of a big shape there. Put a little pupils in there. And then we'll just put like a little bit of light in there like that, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make my, my eye shape here just like so. Huh? A little bit of the curve out of it. Okay. And now we're going to put our nose shape here. So I'm going to use like a small nose here. Never want to make the nose on the ladies too big. Sometimes I'll have problems with my noses. I'll, uh, I like to practice those a lot because any given day I'm, I'm liable to mess up on one of my noses. So if my nose don't look all right, you guys let me know put it in the comment section I'll go ahead and uh, I'll ignore that comment <laughs> all right so I'm gonna do my my mouth shape here all right I'm just gonna give her a bit of a top lip here and then we'll do the, the shape that's in the middle here and then we'll do our our bottom shape with a very light line there okay now we can start putting in our, our face shape around the features. So she has kind of a, her, her jaw is kind of square, but it's very little. So you want to make sure you use a soft line like that. You know what I mean? And then we'll come over here and we'll do like a little bit of uh, her jaw line here. So I'm just going to make a soft line here. Once again, you want to make sure you don't take too many hard turns. When you're drawing female faces because it gives them that kind of a masculine appearance and well it just doesn't look good that was something that took a while for me to get down to because um, I noticed that some caricatures have a problem drawing women versus men because with men you don't really have to try to control how hard you're pressing or control your the, the curviness of your lines you can kind of go with that hard uh, look you can't do that on these type of characters all right so here I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, I'll just go ahead and put where I want my hair to bend and curve out at this way I can now all I have to do is just kind of come across here see how I'm kind of playing connect the dots with my picture and then I'll do the same thing over here see that and now just bring it on around all right and then over here I'll do the same thing see how I want my hair to end up and wind up here so I'll go ahead and do that and then now we can go ahead and start drawing the, the crown of the hair so I'm gonna make sure I put a little part there and it's going to come up to about maybe about right here okay now let's go ahead and do this little shape here and then we'll bring our shape across and remember we're just going to kind of stay uh, committed to one basic shape gotta see everything as a basic shape to be able to do this okay so I think everything is coming out rather well 
so I'm going to start adding the shoulders here. And then we'll put like the strap here. And I think that came out as a pretty cool picture. So now what we can do is start putting in our shadows, okay? So for the shadows, we're going to use our gray here. And uh, I'll just add a little bit of a little bit of sh color in these eyes here. I don't want to go too too dark on them because then it'll kill that light effect that it has in there. I'm gonna come here and go around the eye shape. When I use my gray, this is like a way that I can um, I can add details to lines. I can also cover up mistakes with this marker. So if I have any lines where I make mistakes at which I never make mistakes, <laughs> but I'm just messing with you. But this is also a way you can, you know, shape correct. Like I said, if you feel like a line's a little bit off, you can use this to kind of uh, bend the line in the way you want it to go without it being too uh, obvious that's what you did, you know? And we'll just go ahead and add a little bit of cheekbone here, just a small amount. See how we added the cheekbone in there? And then we'll go ahead and we'll give her some lipstick here. Lipstick is always going to help keep that, that nice feminine appearance. Okay. Now, let us do our hair real quick. So we're going to use a, a black permanent marker. This is a, uh, if you have any questions about any of the utensils that I'm using here in my uh, tutorial. You can go to the com the uh, the description box below this video, and it'll teach you what I'm using. It'll show you what I'm using to do my pictures with, and you can get it from right there. So, I like doing the hair on these. These are I like doing hair. This is a. Uh, fun part of the drawing for me also there we go okay, and this is going to be like a, a little dark in here but over here I won't press as hard and I'll give it a little bit of light and now we're going to come over to this side of the drawing outwards kind of see if we can make that part stay in there and then we're gonna come down here once again we're just gonna pull our marker down use the very edge of it real light just to outline the neckline this is one of those drawings that I'm not gonna come out until you put the darks in so that's what we're doing now just about there. All right. Uh, add some little hairs on the end here. And then we gotta get up the back of the hair here, but you can see how fast this happens. You wanna use a, a big poster marker. You can even use a, a, a crayon if you have some. Sometimes I'll I'll go to work and forget my uh, <laughs> forget my uh, my tool kit, and I'll or forget something in my tool kit like my marker, this marker here, and then I'll have to break out a crayon or something. Now, let me go ahead and darken in these eyebrows just a little bit. Okay. Do the same thing over here. Okay. And I'm just gonna tighten up my eyelashes. I want to add a little bit more light in there. So for this, I'm gonna use a thinner marker. Once again, I don't want it to be overpowering. So we'll just add 
as much light in there as possible. You see, the darker someone's eyes are, the less light goes in the eye. So each time you put a little bubble in there like that, that means that you're allowing more light into the eye. So literally, if I wanted to put something like this over here, I could. And you can see how much light is uh, once again going in there. All right. So uh, let's put some little dimples here. And then we can, uh, I call this my, uh, what you call it, my, uh, I call it my detailer. It's the smallest marker that I use, and I use this for my hairlines. See how I'm kind of bringing her hairline in like that, and uh, pretty much, I think we're done. Oh, looks like she has freckles on her body, so we'll put some little freckles there, and we can even. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing this in your drawing. Like I said, you're just a human being. You're not going to get it all the way right the first time all the time. But as long as you land and get pretty close, uh, that's pretty good. Okay. So, guys, um, I'm pretty much done with our, with our uh, caricature. Monica, hope that you guys enjoyed that video into this video and tutorial. I will be posting more videos and tutorials soon. Uh, if you'd like to see your favorite celebrity drawn and featured on our show, don't forget to uh, just leave a little comment in the comment box down there, and we'll go ahead and see if we can make a video and get you guys taken care of. So, guys, I'll be seeing you next time. And uh, you have a, a blessed and wonderful day. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.